Good morning, Gulf High. Today is Monday, February 13th, 2017. I'm Nikki Wright. And I'm Brittany Rutherford, coming to you from WBUC Studios with today's school news. Lunch for today will be a choice of mashed potato bowl, Big Daddy's cheese pizza, and PB&J sandwich. Remember, Bucks, breakfast is free in the cafeteria every morning. The word of the day today is flagrant, extremely or deliberately shocking or noticeable. Can you use that in a sentence, Nikki? Yes, I can, Brittany. Too many flagrant fouls can get you kicked out of the basketball game. And now to Keeley for today's weather forecast. Today's weather forecast includes a high of 76 degrees and a low of 61 with a 10% chance of rain. Enjoy the weather, Bucks. In 1960, France exploded its first atomic bomb. In 2002, the French judge was accused of throwing the Paris skating decision to the Russians at the Olympics. Here's some entertainment news for the day. Adele wins Album of the Year at 2017 Grammys. Bruno Mars sang a tribute to Prince, and Adele sang a tribute to George Michael last night at the Grammys. Here's some news we found to be a little bit weird. Deer runs amok inside a supermarket and gets wrangled by shoppers. New York governor helps motorists stuck in snow during storm. Students, if you are behind in credits in English or math, please go to Guidance to sign up for adult education or credit recovery. It is offered Mondays and Wednesdays from 2 to 4 p.m. There will be a bowling extravaganza on February 19th at 1 p.m. at Lane Globe Bowling on Old County Road. Proceeds will go to Interact Relay for Life team. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen at Golf High. I'm Officer Joe, and these are some members of the SAD Club. Just want to let everybody know that this week is going to be a Seatbelt Awareness Week. There's going to be a high likelihood you may see me in the back parking lot or some members of the Newport Ritchie Police Department checking for seatbelts. So this would be a very good week to make sure you're buckled up, as you should always be when you're operating a motor vehicle. Have a good day and go Bucks. Congratulations to the Gulf High Color Guard for receiving a perfect score with a rating of superior at Friday's solo and ensemble assessment at J.W. Mitchell High School. The group will now head to Apopka High School in March to the state level of assessment. Color Guard members Katie Wiggins, Sarah Wells, Tina Bain, and Casey Farron also received superiors for their solos. I decided to join Color Guard because I thought the flags were really interesting and I wanted to try something new. I didn't really know what Color Guard was, but while I used to walk by, because I used to, I would walk home, I would see them performing or practicing outside and I really liked it and I thought it was cool, so I wanted to join. One of the best things about Color Guard and one of some of my best memories come from performing at football games, hanging out in the bleachers with the rest of the crew, and then going to Denny's to eat afterwards. say to someone who may consider joining Color Guard that you should join Color Guard because it's really fun, you get to meet a lot of new people, you get a lot of close friends from Color Guard, and it builds discipline. Someone else should consider joining Color Guard because it gives you a really good sense of belongings and it really gives you a group of friends. I moved to this school my sophomore year, and I was scared that I wouldn't know anybody, but joining Color Guard really gave me a group of people to hang around. If you want to be in a group where you're tight-knit, and you want to be like together, and just be part of something, just join. You'll like it.
ROTC cadets competed in an orienteering competition at Croom in the Withlacoochee State Forest in Brooksville on Saturday. The cadets placed third overall out of 12 teams. Cadet Wenninghoff placed eighth, Cadet Inger placed 10th, and Cadet Barry placed 18th in individuals out of 89 other competitors. Way to go, Bucks. The girls track team had a great opener Friday night. They placed third out of five teams. Ashley Ganyu placed first in the 300 meter hurdles and second in the 100 meter hurdles. Jenna Short placed fifth in the 100 meter dash. Jacqueline Rooney placed third in the 800 meter run and fourth in the 1600 meter run. Layla Glines placed first in the high jump and third in the 400 meter dash. The 4x8800 relay team of Delaney Crespo, Alana Haynes, Jacqueline Rooney, and Madison Graham placed second. The 4x400 meter relay team of Jenna Short, Alana Haynes, Ashley Ganyu, and Leela Glines placed first. There is another track meet this Friday at Anclo High School. The ASVAB will be given on Thursday, February 16th, 2017 at 7.30 a.m. in room 256. Please sign up and guidance by tomorrow, February 14th. For more information, please refer to our scroller. That's all for our news. Have, Have a great day, day. Golf High. <laughs> <laughs> Got it, okay.